Hello, trail travelers. It is Carrie and Katarina, and we are in Utah right now. This is right around the corner from Goblin Valley State Park. We're gonna go over and check that out. That's gonna be pretty cool. Going down the street another way, very cool box canyon. We're gonna check that out. But this is just the prelude to our big adventure, which is hitting the Maze District in Canyonlands National Park. That's gonna be a six day adventure. This is gonna be wild. We're in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There is no services for hundreds of miles. It is considered some of the most isolated roads in North America. Hopefully we're prepared. Well, we've got our Jeep, we've got our tribe trailer. We got Dana and Philip with us, so we're not going out there alone. But I think we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna have an amazing adventure. So stick with us, we'll give you some highlights here around Goblin Valley, and then tomorrow we hit the Maze District. Today though, we have a lot in store and one of the places we're gonna visit is Goblin Valley State Park. This is a place I have wanted to go to since I was a kid, since I first saw pictures of it. But one of the things that really kind of kicked me off and made me want to visit this more than anything else is when I saw the movie Galaxy Quest. One of my favorite movies, and there's a significant uh, segment of the movie that was shot right here in the park. Hey, don't open that! It's an alien planet! Is there air? You don't know! Seems okay. Now the whole park is just full of these rock formations called hoodoos. Now this was all sculpted out by nature over millions of years with a stronger layer of material on top and the water washing away the bottom, forming these amazing monuments here. Now while Goblin Valley area was known to Native Americans many, many thousands of years ago. More recently, in the late 19th century, cowboys searching for stray cattle stumbled upon the valley, but it still remained largely unknown until the 1920s, when Arthur Chafin, owner of the Height Ferry, rediscovered the valley in the 1920s and called it Mushroom Valley. Now, he returned in 1949 and took captivating photos of the rock formations sparking public interest. So in 1964, Utah officially created Goblin Valley State Park. And if you are into hiking, this is a fantastic place. There are three distinct areas of the park, giving you a whole day of hiking opportunities. While Phil and I went for a short hike, we spent most of our time under a gazebo capturing the drone footage, yes, legally, with a $10 drone permit, and you can take your dogs into the park as well. And we even met a dog named Goblin. The girls went on a longer hike to really explore and get up close and personal with the hoodoos and let their imaginations run wild. Well, this was definitely worth checking out. Kind of a long time dream of mine to check out Goblin Valley State Park. I'm glad we did. We had a great time. We highly recommend coming out here if you ever get the chance. But we've got a busy day in store and we need to get back on the road. Now the road that we have camped on is actually Wild Horse Road. And further past the campsite are a couple slot canyons. And we're gonna come back and check out one of those this afternoon. But right now, we wanted to do some exploring, so we just hit the road to see what this has in store for us. Now you can find this trail on Trails Off-Road, which is really cool, and we're able to follow a lot of the waypoints along the way. It's listed as 14.88 miles, and should take you about two hours to complete. Now, it definitely starts off 
a little flat, a little uh, barren, but every turn is a totally different terrain type of view. But one thing about this area is it has a very otherworldly feel to it. You may think that you're on another planet. Now just shy of 10 miles into the trail, you're gonna come across this old homestead. There's an area where it looks like they used to keep horses or cattle, and there's a cliff right behind with the river behind it. It's just really hard to believe someone used to live out here in this desolate area. From the homestead, we're back on the trail, and every little turn, this place looks completely different. Now trying to stay on track with trails off-road, we come up to Muddy Creek. Well, Phil decided to give it a shot going across and ended up getting stuck. Now I gotta winch him back, and we're gonna decide what to do next, but I think he's just gonna give it another try. Well, as you can see, that did not work out very well, and we're gonna have to backtrack. Oh, well, first, we gotta winch fill out a second time, then we have to backtrack and go find another way around Muddy Creek. But we were able to backtrack just a little bit and find a better path across Muddy Creek. But Dana decided to take this opportunity to give her Jeep and Phil a quick bath. Now we're moving along just fine. This terrain still changes with every turn. It is absolutely amazing to be out here. But as we look at the map, it looks like it's gonna be faster to take Factory Butte Road down to 24 and head back up the highway to our campsite. But we don't wanna miss the last of the sights along the trail. Now we have worked our way back around to Little Wild Horse Canyon because the girls wanted to go take a hike through this amazing slot canyon. Now you can make this as short as you want or as long as you want because it is 7.7 .7 miles long. But be prepared, there are some narrow passageways and if you get claustrophobia, this might not be a hike for you.
So it goes without saying, if you're going to attempt Little Wild Horse Canyon, make sure you have some good hiking shoes and that you're prepared to do some skimming and crawling over some rocks because it gets very, very narrow. So thank you for joining us on our adventure around Goblin Valley State Park and the surrounding area. It was an absolute blast. We highly recommend coming out and checking out the area. And you can be here for days seeing everything. But we need to get back and get ready because tomorrow we hit the Maze District.